to my notes on order of operations. So today we're going to be reviewing order of operations and then eventually we're going to evaluate algebraic expressions using order of operations for given replacement values of the variables. But before we can get to that, that'll be our uh, future lesson, today we're going to look at just order of operations. So a quick review. So the first thing we start with is grouping symbols. And I know in the past you've heard parentheses. Well, parentheses is a grouping symbol. And we're also going to have, uh, we have brackets, and then we're also going to discuss fraction bar. And let me discuss the difference between fraction bar and division. So you don't have to write this down, just kind of watch here. So 20 divided by 2, that would be division. Okay, 20 divided by 2 is just 10. Now, what I'm talking about fraction bar is if we had something to do on the top. And sometimes you have something to do on the top and the bottom. Okay, this would be fraction bar because I've got to do the top first and then the bottom and then I would divide those two parts. Okay, so that's what I mean by fraction bar. So... Then, after we take care of the grouping symbols, then we do exponents from left to right, if there's more than one. And then, after we've taken care of all the exponents, then we multiply or divide. Remember to start at the front and multiply or divide from left to right until all of the multiplication and division is gone. And then we add or subtract. We start at the front and add or subtract from left to right until all of the addition and subtraction has been taken care of. So it says watch out. Multiply or divide. Then, or and, add or subtract from left to right. But remember... We do grouping, then all of the exponents, then all the multiplication or division from left to right, then adding and subtracting from left to right. So let's look at example number one and see how this works. So we're first going to look and see if we see any grouping symbols. And I see some parentheses here, so I'm going to underline 2 plus 1, so go ahead and do that. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So now that I'm down to one number inside the parentheses, the parentheses is now gone, but there's a 2 in front. So a number in front of parentheses means to multiply. So put a dot there. Now bring down the minus sign and the 4. And I also have a plus sign and a 2 to the third power to bring down. Okay, now, all the grouping is gone. Now I'm looking for exponents, and there I have one. So 2 to the third power. Now, this does not mean 2 times 3. An exponent means take the base and multiply the base three times. So I would do 2 times 2 times 2, which is actually 8. Now, if you were using your calculator, okay, the calculators that we use have a YX button, so you would have to type in 2, hit the YX button, and then hit 3 for the exponent. And then, of course, hit equals, and it would say 8. Now bring down the plus sign, bring down the 3 times 2, and the minus sign, and the 4. Now, there are no longer any exponents, so now we're looking for multiplication or division from left to right. And so I'm going to underline 2 times 3. And what's 2 times 3? 6. Bring down the 4. Now I have 4 minus 6, plus 8. Now, all the multiplication and division is gone, so now I'm looking for addition or subtraction from left to right. And so since subtraction comes first from left to right, I'm going to underline that step. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Bring down the plus 8. And negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. 
Because remember the integer rule when you're adding a negative and a positive? Subtract and keep the sign of the most. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and there's more positives, so positive 6. Okay, let's look at number 2. Now this is what I'm talking about, grouping symbols here. So when I see a grouping symbol or something to do on the top first, I'm going to go ahead and circle that top part. And then, since there's no room here to show my work, I'm going to come down just a little bit, maybe come down across from this part right here and right top. And I'm going to copy down what's on top. And I'm going to follow order of operations down here. Divided by 6 times negative 4. So now that I've got this copied down, now I'm going to follow order of operations. And since I see a grouping symbol, parentheses, I'm going to look at that first. Now inside the parentheses, I see division and multiplication. So if you remember, we're going to multiply or divide from left to right. So we're going to do the division first. And negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4. Now, the parentheses can't go away because I haven't dealt with everything in the parentheses. So bring down the times negative 4 and close your parentheses, and don't forget about the plus and the 2 out here. Now, I'm still focused on the parentheses, so we're going to underline that step. And negative times a negative is a positive, so 4 times 4 is 16, so it's 2 plus 16. And 2 plus 16 is 18. So the top number or numerator is 18. And since I have, well, I only have one step here, 3 squared. So normally I would show my work right underneath, but since it's only one step, 3 squared is what? 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. Remember, when you have an exponent, you multiply the base that many times. So it would be 3 times 3 the exponent is 2. And 18 divided by 9 is 2. Okay, turn the page. And let's look at example number 3. Once again, we have a fraction bar because there's something to do on the top and also there's something to do on the bottom here as well. So circle the top. And I'm going to copy that down under here. Let's write it underneath the multiple choice here. So write top. And then we're going to copy down the top. 10 plus 30 divided by 5. Now I'm going to get a different color here. And it says we have addition and division. So which comes first in Gemdis? Good, division. So underline 30 divided by 5, and that gives you 6. Bring down your plus sign and your 10. And 10 plus 6 is 16. So I know that the top or the numerator is 16. Now the bottom, I have division and multiplication. And remember, Gemda says to multiply or divide from left to right. So I'm going to do the division first. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. Bring down the times 2. And 4 times 2 is 8. Now I'm not done. I have a numerator and a denominator now. So now I've got to divide those. And 16 divided by 8 is positive 2. And that would be choice C. Okay, now go ahead and pause the video if you think you can do 4 and 5 on your own. And 4 and 5 is just asking for the first step so you don't actually have to solve them out. So let's see what you can do. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, welcome back. And let's see how you did in number four. It says, when simplifying the following using order of operations, which operation should be performed first? I don't see any grouping symbols. I don't see exponents. But I see multiplication and division. But remember, we have to go from left to right. So the correct answer is B, 4 divided by 2. Number 5, 
which is the first step in evaluating um, this expression here. And the first, I'm looking for any grouping symbols, and I see parentheses right here, so I would do 15 minus 5, so you should have circled D. Okay, that concludes our notes on order of operations. I hope you have a great day.